Is that a wallaby over there? I think it might be. Where is it? Where is it? Over there. What is it? Somebody has been drinking the water in my garden. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's a wallaby. Somebody's been nibbling my trees and things. I thought so. Whoops, how do I walk over there without spooking it? What is it? Looks like a deer or something. That's a little wallaby that's been in my place. Can I walk over slowly? I knew there was a wallaby around. There were these droppings and things. I'll inch over. Oh, I'm leaning against a tree. I've been trying to catch that little wallaby for ages now, a couple of years. Let's see how close we can get. I won't go any closer lest I spook it. What must it be? Hello. Isn't it wonderful? It actually lives really close to us in some primrose jasmine. But I never see it. But I sort of knew it was there by the droppings on the ground and plants being nibbled. It's not a fox, is it? It's too big for a fox. So this is Australia and I'm surrounded by little kangaroos. Isn't it cute? using a tripod, I'm leaning against a tree. I make sure the water bowl is filled. Is it a male or a female? If she had a pouch full of little babies that would be very cute. They've got to have somewhere that's shady in the daytime. Otherwise they can go blind apparently from the bright ultraviolet light in Australia. They've got to have some bush to hide in. I might creep over just a little bit. Should I? It might run away, bounce away. This is all meaningful to me, even if it's all jerkiness to you. This is all meaningful to me. It looks a sort of orange colour, doesn't it? I can't see properly in the viewfinder. It's too big to be a fox. going to go somewhere. Let's draw back a bit so if it goes away we'll see where it goes. Looks a bit like a little fawn doesn't it? I'd like to get to know it better but it is a wild creature isn't it? I thought last night I heard somebody bouncing around at the estate. I came out to bring a solar light in. And I heard something. I'm glad it's shown itself after all this time.
somebody has been nibbling my melaleucas and my acacias and I didn't think it was a rabbit because there were no rabbit droppings I did see something that looked about the size of a dog feces but it looked like it had was herbivorous Well, I don't mind it sheltering in our place. As long as it doesn't get hit by a car or a truck at night time, if it goes out on the road somewhere. We have had the odd wallaby over the years. We used to open the gate to let them out, but I think they can get through the fence on their own. Is it going to stay there all day, I wonder? Seems to have a very long nose, doesn't it? I don't know what it is, I think it's a wallaby. A bit closer now. I'll be glad to look at it on the larger screen. I'm only looking at a tiny screen. I think it's Skippy the bush kangaroo. I won't go any closer than this. I don't want to spook it. I should plant more trees, shouldn't I? More refuges for it. Oops, I can actually get closer. What is that? The wallaby mystery is finally solved. Mm, yes. I'm definitely not getting any closer than this. Hope it's well. Probably just enjoying the morning sun. It's been a cold night. Is it a male or a female? Is it junior or an adult? It is. <laughs> I hope it's a wallaby. I can't see in this small screen what it is exactly. Reminds me a bit of a dog. It's a little kangaroo, isn't it? I'm so lucky to be surrounded by all these lovely creatures. 
and I like that, well, people on YouTube seem to like to see some of the things I show. Look at smelling the air. Isn't it lovely?